All right, guys, you know what time it is. Uh, Willard Macklemore has made another video that we know is a banger. Going into it, already agreeing with him. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you think I'm biased, because I am. It's okay to be biased as long as you're biased for the correct people. And that's the lesson of today. I know, I'm sure it's going to be good, honestly. Uh, it's about Sneeko. Uh, and we and we love it. We like it. It's a, it's always a fun topic. You know, why not? Something to be a little silly about. So this is a video that's a quite intense title. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> but it's by Willie Mac. So let's see what we got here. Can anyone relate to this? Like, does anyone think that everything is bullshit? Like, I literally... Oh, my God, dude. I, I definitely think that when I was 13 and super edgy. I really believe in nothing. This one clip describes Nico's entire online career. True. He went from not believing in true love. That's because falling in love is some shit people made up because we got bored. To being I'm just be real with you, bro. Love is so beautiful. And I'm going to go on a cringe rant right now. But I am so in love with my wife. And I don't care. I do not care. I love my wife so much. She's my best friend. She's made me a better man. My income has skyrocketed since being with her, which is a factor. I think it's a fair factor. And so, like, if you aren't in love, I just feel bad for you. And even if you are in love, you're probably not in as much love as I am. So, suck a fart. I'm cucked by the love of his life, advocating for everyone to do the same. I'm, like, like feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person. It's a lot. It's a lot to but I think it's something everybody should do. No. Just to test. No! I, no. You know what? You know no! what? I, I think this has permanently stunted him into hating women, becoming Andrew Tate's greatest warrior. I'm trying to be that. This is true, man. I really think that that's, uh, that scarred him. And, you know, unfortunately, he hasn't been able to get over that weakness. So I want to be the top G one day. Nico, young man, if I disappear, I'm passing the torch to you. Whoa. Keep spreading the message while it's still relevant. He preaches about it. This probably really made him feel so cool, dude. Holy moly. Quality, while at the same time preaching that the biggest problem in the West is that women can vote. You see white identity as more... Well, I think one of his big problems, too, is that we can't <laughs> marry kids. That's another one of the issues he has. Because, you know, his whole thing is, is as long as the kid uh, is attractive, you should be able to marry and date them and stuff. So. More important than your faith. You only see white people <clears throat> as your brothers. There's no race that's superior to another race. I'm I tired agree, of fake dude. news lies. I'm tired of feminism. I'm a, I agree, but this guy hates Jews, so... <laughs> It's like I, you don't actually believe what you're saying. These women don't make any sense anymore. The fact that there's even a conversation between Trump and gamblers because women can vote. He defends Andrew Tate from his trafficking allegations. Wait, is that bad? What? He would lie and tell women he was going to marry them to get them to move to Romania and then locking them in a house, making them do OnlyFans. He'd have his bottom bitch beat them. Talk to the stream by saying. Yeah, the one that the bottom bitch was one of two, one of which he started dating when they were 15. Um, So, you know, there's, there's something else. Free Tate, that they are falsely in prison. It's ridiculous that they've been jailed for this long. They keep trying to find charges. It's not really hardcore evidence of anything. Sneeko justifies this by saying that women are gold diggers and that's somehow the same thing to them. There's a lover boy method. Then what about the lover girl method? Every girl in Miami is running the lover girl method today. Girl. So if you want to, I don't, not, here's maybe a hot take. I don't really care too much if you're going to manipulate a guy or a girl a little bit and like, oh, haha, I like you. And then you're not really liking them. There's a difference between doing that, which is not right. You shouldn't do that. Versus uh, taking away their passport and not letting them leave your house unless you are convinced that they're actually in love with you, right? Uh, that's a little bit different. <clears throat> and using a bottom bitch to groom them into, you know, submission. It's a little bit different to be kind of a shitty person versus somebody who is a sex trafficking rapist, right? So those are two different things, uh, just to be clear. Girls are running the lover girl method every single day and they never get in trouble for human trafficking. Why is that? They're, they're putting up a lie. They're pretending that they love this guy and they don't to extract money from them. He spoke at an OnlyFans management event that was busted for human trafficking one month later. Andrew Tate recently had a second Romanian indictment brought against him. And one of the main charges was trafficking a minor. And what? But guys, but guys, um, but but wait a minute, because this is the Andrew Tate defenders. Guys, but maybe uh, it was legal to to sleep with that child in that country, so it's totally cool. That's incredible stuff. Only around that same time, Sneeko starts arguing to lower the age of consent. Fourteen-year-old, in your definition, could literally marry an adult. That's a problem. In your world, a fourteen-year-old can marry an adult. Yeah, in my, in my world, 14, two fourteen-year-olds can be adults. I'm telling you, the what? only there's no world where two fourteen-year-olds can be adults. Just to be clear. Yes, he's advocating for child brides now. He cites Islam as the only. And in that conversation, just to be clear, he said twenty and twelve would be okay as long as the girl looked mature enough, which doesn't take into consent actual mental maturity. Uh, but yeah, that's not good. And also, arranged marriages are always abusive, and that's how that would work. Like historically and religiously, regardless of religion, uh, arranged marriages are usually between a father of the daughter and uh, a boy, one of the guys. It could be uh, the father of another boy, or uh, a man could be basically trying to buy your kid in some capacity. This is a real thing that happens. Arranged marriages are always abusive. They're always wrong. They're always bad. Uh, suck a fart. The way to stop Taylor Swift. This is the result of feminism. This is the result of the infiltration. Taylor Swift is a billionaire. She's a billionaire who's okay. maybe 35 years old. Look here, Hadith. Isn't that what you were trying to be? About this. When the prophet heard that the news of the people of the Persia had made the daughter of Kosar with their queen, he said, never will, 
never will succeed such a nation that makes as a woman their ruler. I last covered. Ah, uh, yes, the, the book. Gotcha. The book said bad, so it bad. Nico a year ago, and he was just starting to become a conspiracy theorist, not believing the election results or the vaccine. He thought. Well, Nico doesn't believe anything that's on Google because it's all propaganda. Unless, of course, it's his friend Nick Fuentes telling him that black and Hispanic people are uh, biologically inferior. Then in, in that case, he'll look at the statistical data that he gets. So, um, but, uh, you know, I don't understand why you think that the Internet is full of tampered information, which it can be. But you don't think that the Quran that you're reading is tampered with by people? There's no possibility of that, despite the fact that you're reading it in English, which means it's definitely not the original book that was created. I mean, that's just incredible stuff here, guys. I thought seatbelts were alive. Do you think seatbelts make you safer when you drive? You can what? get into a, a collision, and if you have a seatbelt on, then some, you can get trapped in the car, and the car can catch on fire. But sometimes, if you're not wearing a seatbelt, there's instances where people have, like, literally have flown out the, uh, the windshield because they weren't wearing a seatbelt, and they survived. But a seatbelt could trap you in there. What do you think is more common? Do you understand <laughs> statistics or probability? It's probably more common that if you drink and drive, your body is relaxed and you get into a car accident and you get less hurt. So guys, you know, <laughs> you know what to do. Don't drink and drive. That's a joke. I really don't want people. I don't want people taking that joke too seriously. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's more common. Sneeko was just starting to edge on Jewish conspiracies. This is the problem. Like if you're seeking the truth, I'm mean, Aiden Ross is Jewish. Um, it's going to be difficult because as he gets further down that he's going to you're going to he's going to find himself stumbling across a lot of people that perhaps wait he's going fast forward a okay what the fuck was that year later and sneaker blames everything on the jews some of them are classics like 9 11 or the kennedy assassination <laughs> okay hell oh, yeah crazy. No, no, no. Hell? Yeah, well you know there's been so many jewish presidents guys so obviously they're the most powerful <laughs> what the fuck is this like honest i'm this is ridiculous i find it so interesting though because I, I always i always say this but it's always this manosphere that preaches personal accountability that finds every reason to blame everything else on every other person in existence whether it's jewish people or women they look for an excuse to blame something else for their problems they act out of character well in character they act like animals and get themselves banned off of platforms for evading bans like Sneeko did and saying slurs and go oh it's the Jews fault and women's fault that this is happening well maybe you just need to take a little personal accountability that you constantly preach to 19 year old OnlyFans girls you only let on if they'll have sex with you Myron like it doesn't make any fucking sense thank you for $5 from Taco Boy 2002 I like to think everything would be fine if he just had a tall goth mommy in his life he might need that. He probably has mommy issues. Oh yeah. So, they killed his dad and his uncle and he's still sucking off to them, bro. bro. What the fuck? Oh, they killed your family! But some of them got me scratching my- I mean, Myron goes into white supremacist, like, Twitter spaces and, like, desperately tries to lick their sperm. He thinks the age of consent is bad and that the Jews are to blame for it. California, one of the rare places, it's 18. You know that, right? So in movies- Well, he's, he's been going off about how pedophilia is destroying the world and blah, 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 and Hollywood's full of pedophilia. And then he goes on and talks about how Hollywood has set the standard that the age of consent should be at least 18. So he's super consistent with his uh, his issue, with his shit. They say it's 18. The age of consent is 18, 18. That gets pushed everywhere, right? Hollywood dominates the world. Do you know who controls Hollywood? Oh, uh, uh, here we go. John Cena can't even do a- I mean, I feel like- um, if the Jews made us have an age of consent 18, W Jews, am I right, guys? <laughs> like, I don't understand the problem. What's the issue there? You know, it's fucking crazy. Promotional stunt for his movie without Sneeko blaming them. Ready for him to get 10 more Hollywood movies after this? They targeted someone who kids look up to. Exactly. They what? find um, one of the biggest role models and they get him to do this. And then he's going to influence so many. But wouldn't be, wouldn't seeing a, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't seeing a, a perfect physique like John Cena's make you more inclined to work out though? What the hell? People do the same. They got another one. We got cucking, lies, violence, manipulation. This is how Sneeko became radicalized and is radicalizing others in real time. Jews were being genocided and shit. I wouldn't be here right now. It was mostly a work camp. It was, was the first time. <laughs> mostly a work camp is just wild work. Okay. Jews had to do physical labor and so they just complained so much and created. Imagine you said that about his people. He's he's Asian. Imagine you're like, it's just a work camp. It was just a work camp, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> it, was, it was mostly working. This is a video that documents just how little common sense some people have. So sit down, buckle up, and prepare for uncharted waters. What's a Fume? Fume is an award-winning flavored air device that helps fill the void that ditching bad habits can leave behind. I've been using Fume for about a year now, and it's awesome. It's basically an adult fidget toy. Interesting. I wonder if that would um. I wonder if that would help with eating. I'm not even kidding, because you know I know that when people stop smoking cigarettes, they start eating more. And so, and I'm not going to do it. I take Ozempic. That's my drug, drug of choice. Well, it's for my diabetes, but it does help as well. Um, but I wonder if like having like an oral fixation like that could potentially help you with your eating. I'm not saying that you should go and start smoking 
sin packs or whatever the fuck this is. I'm just wondering. That. You got this magnetic stand. Give it a flip. That's true. John Cena wasn't even on the stage. This guy's fucking invisible. You can't see him. Like, twist it to adjust the airflow. And if you want a little <laughs> stimulant of flavor, ah, that's the good stuff. And there's no nicotine, no vapor, no batteries. Fume is just flavored air coming from one of its many. Why do you gotta say, come on, bro. Why you gotta, why you gotta say that? There's no what teens? Come on, dude. What are you talking about, bro? You can't say that word flavored towards. As you can see, I work a desk job. I'm constantly tempted to go grab another snack or another cup of coffee when it's completely unnecessary. So being able to play with something to taste something it's or never unnecessary. something stay focused and drop those bad habits. Chris Mint is my favorite. Fume has served over 300,000 customers and you could be their next success story. They'll even throw in a free topper. So to try Fume.com and use code Willie Mac or scan the QR code on screen to get your free topper when you order the journey pack today. Thank you Fume for sponsoring this what? video. Sneeko lacks the ability to think for himself. His former point of view was just to disagree with whatever the mainstream media says because they must be wrong. Always. When it comes to wearing masks, how do you know if that's a good idea? Well, that's the thing. He's just a sheep in the opposite direction. Am I right? You know? Yeah or not. Because if people more powerful than me are telling me to do it, I instantly don't believe that. This led to him becoming a flat earth. Isn't, isn't, um, isn't, uh, what's his name? What's his fucking name? Isn't Entertain more powerful than you? So... What? If the Earth is round, why are there so many flat points? Why is every time you look, it's completely flat for miles and miles and miles? That's that wild. What's the conspiracy? Why would they want to convince you that the uh, Earth is flat? Like, what's the what's the what's the benefit from that from convincing you that? That's a good question. Sneeko, stop believing that Hitler was a Nazi. The leader of the Nazi party was no longer a Nazi to Sneeko. Kanye was joking when he said that he liked Hitler, though. No, he's being truthful. But he was saying something provocative on purpose. The overall idea. See, people say like, "Oh, look, he's a Nazi." No, he's not. He's black. Yeah, he's not a Nazi. That's the point. Okay. Yeah, but you said he, he can't be a Nazi because he's black. Okay, that's but he's not a Nazi. Oh, wait, but not. But he said that Hitler might be a good guy, so he is a Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> well, he's really just going through like a BPD episode, so. But, but not black. because he's black, just for other reasons. Well, you can't. You also can't be a true Nazi. You have to be blonde hair, blue eyed. Even Hitler wasn't a true Nazi. Or like a neo Nazi, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if that's how you're defining Nazi, Nazi becomes a useless statement. It's not how we define Nazis, so. Because if we can't even call the leader of the Nazi movement a Nazi, then. <clears throat> By his own definition, he he couldn't be. He wasn't part of the master race, so. Well, no, he wasn't an Aryan, but he was a Nazi. Yeah, and then nobody's a Nazi, so it doesn't seem like that's a good definition of Nazi. Owned by a woman? Cringe? He's so against mainstream norms that he doesn't believe that Hitler was evil. Is Hitler evil? Do you see what you're doing? You want me to agree with this specific narrative so bad? Yes, Hitler was evil. This is a, is that, it's tough to say, guys, I guess. What the fuck? Sneeko needs to ask for the definition of evil. Sneeko then agrees that Hitler meets that definition, but he still won't say it. What is your criteria of evil? Profoundly immoral, immoral, and, and, and wicked. Probably genociding 10 million people. Yeah, I think he did. Even if you go with Sneeko's idea that they, he just put them in work camp, which is not true, he was genociding them. That's evil. <laughs> like him forcing people to work is evil in that way. Putting people in work camps is evil, no? He was, he was, uh, he did commit some wicked behavior, of course. So is he, is he evil? I don't want to oh say the same God. thing that you're saying, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go and, and I'm not going to partake in it. Mean, at least he was honest. He just doesn't want to say the same thing he wants to, him to say. This group thing. I'm not going to go and, and do this. Bro, imagine being mentally finessed by Aiden Ross. This guy eats his own boogers. He's a booger. Hey. <laughs> Who doesn't, though? Kind of guy. So instead of believing public educators and documentation, Sneeko decided to follow the path of Nick Fuentes. If you don't know, Nick Fuentes is a self-described white supremacist. What we need to defend as a concept is European supremacy. He hates race. Why? Mixing. He once said that having sex with a dog was similar to having sex with a black person. You said that Nick is a white supremacist. I'm curious to like what he said specifically <laughs> that makes you think that. Well, I did hear leaked audio of you comparing a uh, white woman having sex with a dog Beast to having sex with a black man and saying that it was basically the same level of degeneracy. And that was like leaked. Yeah, that's what he said. That is 100% true. Audio. So I felt like that was kind of telling about what you might say behind. I think, yeah, I'm a thick earther, guys. I'm not a flat earther. I'm a thick earther. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the scenes. Yeah. And maybe know. that was a joke. Well, well no, I mean, I, I didn't explain. Explain. <laughs> You think that was a joke? Well, hold on. I, was like, I didn't say that. It didn't sound like a joke. And I was saying that I'm against race mixing. I think that that people Why? should marry their own kind. So that that's the part that wasn't recorded. Uh, I'm a human. I'll marry other humans, okay? But it is I'm I saying I'm it. against race mixing. Sneeko is mixed and won't even exist in the theoretical America that Nick Fuentes wants to create. But like a good puppy, Sneeko defends him. These are all things which I would They're consider both wrong. They're yeah, both and... But, the, but Sneeko the, just it, hops on board. Sneeko recently went to a Nick Fuentes America First event. These events are extremely hateful. And at the end of the day, you know what else has got to go? In a well, he's this is the, what's so what I find so funny 
is that Sneeko likes to pretend that he's not in like a like one of those like uh internet clubs. Like he'll criticize like the KSIs and all those people uh for just being like, oh, one of the mainstream clubs, blah, 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 blah. But he's not one of them. But yes, he kind of is. He's trying to be part of that club. He's trying to be part of the edgy little online boy club with like fucking uh Sneeko and Aiden Ross. That's what he's trying to do. Christian society. I mean, literally, uh, didn't Aiden Ross just take like two hundred thousand dollars from Jack Doherty uh to get him unbanned? So that, like, because he almost killed people with his car, like, a live, on live stream? Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. How is that not degenerate? Democracy? Well, this is a big one. This is a big one, okay? And this is going to be the controversial one, but this is the one, this is the only one that hates Jesus in the world. Not Hinduism, not Islam, not Buddhism. Is but it? the other thing that's got to go from the public life at the highest levels is this Talmudic Judaism. <laughs> okay. They say. Hey. You can't get rid of me, baby. Diversity is our strength, you know? And I look at China. And, and by the way, this white supremacist's last name is Fuentes because he is Hispanic. So I look at Russia. Who Can we give a round of a he's the He's the first and only example that I've ever seen of a diversity not being our strength because he's still a weak little beta cuck boy bitch. Applause for Russia. <laughs> yes. Guzzling Putin's cum is fucking wild work. Absolutely. Sneeko is weak. It's just weakness. Like, oh, it was great. I met the leader of the KKK. Good to, uh, to be in Detroit and be around all the people there for the American First Movement. And, you know, I, I really I really believe in this stuff. Like, before I even get into the, all this, I, I genuinely believe in putting America first. And I, I believe that that can only start by putting Israel last. Go so, and, you know, support my boy. <laughs> putting Israel last? <laughs> That's just fucking ridiculous. Nick Fuentes and meet all the guys out there. Lucas Gage. Oh, I wonder who uh, Lucas Gage is. Let me just look him up. I'm sick and tired of these Jews. I'm a good Jew. No, you're not. There is no such thing as a good Jew. Then I'll just keep being a bad little Jew, baby. I'll just keep being a bad little Jew. Is that going to turn you on, brother? Come on, dude. <laughs> Period. End of story. Uh, Arthur Kwan Lee. Hmm, I wonder who Arthur Kwan Lee is. There are two types of Satanism represented in the culture. Those practitioners worship at the altar of the synagogue of Satan. Literally the most hateful people alive. <laughs> the synagogue of Satan. <laughs> what the fuck? I think I was pogging out. I met David Duke. I had like no idea. It was fucking grand wizard of the... Nick was giving a speech about how Jews control the world and all these venues decided to kick them out for it. What happened was uh, Nick Fuentes got kicked out of every single venue. The America First event that happened, uh, first the venue lied and then they pushed him out and the cops came and they locked down the door. So they had to find a last minute venue. They banned the event. It's just like absolutely disrespectful. I came all the way to Detroit. I would never go to... Didn't Detroit. he like never give them their money back? Isn't that something like part of that? Detroit uh, without this event and we're they shut it here. down because they don't believe in what he ta talks about. It's probably Zionists who were shutting it down. Then they had this the second venue or maybe just people who aren't insane psychopaths. They had it at this bar and even then like they didn't like what the speech was. We need, make, we need Jews to be back in season ironically because I look at I like looking up Jewish porn and it's just like there's not a whole lot of new Jewish porn. There's plenty of fucking like Arab porn which I look up sometimes too but you know I'm just trying to look at sometimes I'm just trying to I like I like the aesthetic bro. I got that I got I, I got that uh, I got that Ashkenazi in me. It makes me want to like you know what I'm saying dude you know what I mean. So they started screaming F you to security who then punches Sneeko's tooth out. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this busted up tooth. Smile for me, man. This was the security guard at F at this thing at this event right up here. That's what happens when you meet a real man, Sneeko. He's going to beat the crap out of you. What's crazy is Sneeko goes on stream afterwards and he's like, actually, these establishments were really unprofessional with how they acted. Venue, like, you know, paid security from the venue should not be doing that under any circumstance, especially under those circumstances. They didn't like what the speech was about. Uh, people were riled up. They're talking about Zionism. They're talking about Israel. And so they start playing music. And they I'm pretty sure they did that because he was fucking with the guy and, like, took his hat. And he's acting like that's anything to do with Zionism. He was being a disrespectful little kid. Cut off the microphone. And that got me pissed off and that they were taunting the people that were at the venue started like dancing around and flipping everybody off bro you're having a nazi town hall meeting the leader of the kkk or am i thinking of a different instance i'm thinking of the instance when he got like his, his tooth chip not this there he's a black security guard you deserved it he's true but also i think they're trying to they're fucking with him and, like trying to fuck with his hat so he got hit he's like oh i can't believe none of the other nazis stood up for me i need my brothers here the mistake i made was like a lot of these people like even though they're cool and i know they're from twitter like they're not gonna slide for me like our, our yeah well you're also not white like unironically, just to be absolutely clear, like they don't see you as an equal as a person. So why would you ever expect them to slide for you? I mean, maybe they'd slide their dick into you or something, but they wouldn't slide for you. Some people who talk about Zionism on Zionism on Twitter <laughs> slide, probably not. Like the only people that really have your back are your your family, your brothers. And I was just out there like with a bunch of white kids in suits. It's like they're not gonna. And when shit the fan, they're not gonna be like they'll, they'll take a picture, but they're not gonna they're not gonna be you know supporting me to that level. It's because you're. Why would they? Why would they support you? Beta male activities. 
a brown Muslim, you are what their entire movement stands against. Nick Fuentes takes any video of a black guy doing something wrong and uses it to justify deporting all brown people. People like Prime, he's just one of them. But we all know that's the attitude. They, they walk around swaggering, you know, with their arms, chest puffed out because they know they can get away with anything. What kind of country do you want to live in? I'll add, this is the last thing I'll say. A powerful, rich, successful one. So the one we're living in right now. <laughs> you can be a, a racist asshole like me and live in a country where we don't put up with that because this is America. Or you could be a good anti-racist and live in a country where that kind of nonsense is tolerated. What country do you want to live in? What do you well, The one that made us the most powerful country in the entire world. That's the one that I want to live in. That's the, that's the one that I want to live in. How's that? And guess what? It's the diverse country. All right, the one that has basketball. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Like, well, obviously, I want to live in the most powerful country in the world. This is the problem, is that Nick Fuentes, outside of the online grift, um, like, he cannot sustain a job. He's not particularly intelligent. He's not particularly skilled. He's not particularly strong. He's a short little beta male that doesn't know how to rise above anything that's going on. And so if they're, if black people are allowed to have jobs in America, he can't get a job. That's why he wants basically DEI for himself. He wants to be to make it so it's like whites only in the country so that he can maybe get an employment. That's literally all it is. Like that's all that it comes down to. This is the same thing as f like overly forced inclusivity into jobs, where you exclude like an equally uh, uh, an equally skilled white person or even slightly more skilled white person in favor of a black person. He wants the opposite, where you just don't have any, he doesn't want equally skilled or uh, more skilled black people to be in positions because he's a loser, he can't get a job, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> That's all it is. What do you prefer? You prefer the racist asshole society where you say, hey, pull up your fucking pants, stop yelling, put the phone off speaker. Oh shit, I do that. And to this day, Sneeko defends Nick. Do you actually believe that he thinks people should call the FBI and say I'm reporting race victims? Do you believe that? Or was he being facetious? He's being exaggeratory for his hatred. Okay, he's making a joke. That's not the same thing. His being his exaggeratory for hatred is not the same thing as him making a joke, but okay. Based on how much he dislikes race mixing, Sneeko, it's not just a disagreement. He, well, that's not a Catholic belief. And if you if you look at his bio, it says it says Catholic. It says America first. Sneeko, can you not pick? <laughs> okay, look at his bio, guys. Pick up context clues. It's like, oh, I wonder what Nick Fuentes thinks of Sneeko's newfounded Muslim faith. Charleston White is common sense. He's a real one, and he cooks Sneeko on Islam, and he's right. Muslims are angry, and they they have pointy shoes and curved swords, and they will <laughs> cut off your head. What? Um, be, for being American, everyone knows that. They sell cigarillos to black people. Uh, they have beards and they're angry. That's why they're blowing themselves up. He believes you should love everyone. There's no hatred. That's how mentally cucked this guy is. Sneeko talks the same way as Nick when it comes to other groups. He doesn't hate them. He just thinks their existence is gross. Thinking that being gay is bad doesn't mean you hate gays. Um, it does, but okay. Right, if I, being fat is bad, I don't hate fat people. It's just, it's yeah. gross. Like <laughs> thinking is, something is- I right. mean, being fat is- not ideal. It's not good to be fat, right? We don't have to hate fat people, but that's different. You can control being fat, generally speaking. We can get to the conversation about addiction, but that's different from being gay. Being gay is a is a zero percent choice. Being fat to an extent is a choice. It's a little more complicated than that. But you can hate the. Uh, but usually, like you shouldn't dehumanize fat people, which people typically do when they say they hate fat people. So, you know, that conversation I don't think Sneakers are capable of. I was thinking broke, being yeah. broke is gross or bad. Does not. I don't hate broke people there's no rich, rich people don't hate broke people just like straight people um, what are you talking about i hate broke people no. <laughs> don't hate gay. it's just weird and disgusting you're allowed to be disgusted by something i don't hate it i just think it's disgusting like incredible stuff and not Ooh. hate it the, it's it's literally in the language you're using if you're expressing publicly that you think something's gross and disgusting the idea is you're being hateful towards it you can you can play word games like well it doesn't mean you hate it but i mean i guess essentially it's being expressed Sneeko, it's why when you got punched in the face nobody helped you it's because they think you're gross but being gay is a choice that's a decision. Sneeko's like, just choose not to be gay. It's the most closeted, self-hating shit I've ever heard. Sneeko's admitted to pretending to be gay to get a cigarette, and he doesn't even like cigarettes. Hey, like your hair. <laughs> so, mm, cutie or whatever. I'm like, you got a cigarette? He's like, yeah, for you. I take a cigarette. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to my friends. He's like, oh, okay, bye. And I just take the cigarette and leave. I flirted with the... <laughs> no, I flirted with the gay guy to get a cigarette. I don't even smoke like that. But hey, Sneeko, in Nick's all-white Christian society, you can stay. You can be the good one. Keep taking punches for Nick. Putting my chin on the line for America first. I come too fast. I come to fast. Do it. Something I noticed with these guys is they almost have a Sith-like relationship. You have Nick Fuentes, who's Emperor Palpatine. Would you want Hitler to be president or a random woman? I'm like, duh, Hitler. I uh, probably a random woman, you know? 
I mean, Hitler is kind of a woman, am I right, guys? <laughs> He's pretty beta. Obviously, him. Say it loud, say it proud. We want Hitler for president. Then you have his Incredible. apprentice, Nico. I don't care about Hitler's perspective. So, okay. so if you don't understand perspective or don't. Does it matter what Hitler's perspective is? He's a sick man. You even admitted he's a piece of shit, Nico, right? He's evil, right? He won't say. I think, was, I, think, I think he was a bad person. I, I don't know if he was evil. I haven't met the guy. But now Sneeko needs an underling, and his target is Aiden Ross. Aiden has been hanging around Sneeko a lot. They dress up as Mario characters and carve pumpkins together. But it's very obvious wow. that Sneeko is trying to... Like a nice little relationship that they got there, huh? That's beautiful. Radicalize Aiden. Aiden has recently changed his stance on Hitler. He's now a good leader. Also, the weird argument was the Hitler, would you rather have your wife? <laughs> okay, I'm real. Guys, listen. I'm Jewish. You guys know that. Hitler was a great leader. He What, what he did was wrong. I, I obviously... <laughs> uh, no. The answer is no. So fucked through. Okay. We did was we did was fucked up. We killed innocent people, but he was a good leader. No, no, he literally was. Like this is a stupid conversation, but keep in mind, Sneeko thinks what Hitler did to the Jews was oh. good. Even if you don't count the Holocaust, he's still responsible for millions that? of people nope. dying. But Sneeko doesn't even believe in the Holocaust. That's why he talks this way. I know there's Nazis today, but do you guys realize if that's he not hold on, you guys realize? I if mean, Sneeko kind of Aiden Ross would kind of deserve it <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> If there was a Holocaust, I mean, like, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but like, he's literally calling Hitler a good guy here. He's saying he's a good leader. He wasn't. So if there was another Holocaust, I mean, like, I don't know what to tell you, but like, why do you think you wouldn't be one of the first? That's terrible. I mean, why would you run defense for this? It's pathetic. You talk about like your own fucking death here. What do you think you're so stupid for? The Holocaust kept going on. You guys realize it. Thank you for the five dollars from Z King. What Sneeko left out is that he gave that guy a hawk to it. Ah, he hawked to it, huh? Incredible. He gave him a little hawk to it. He kept, hold on. You guys realize if the Holocaust kept going on, you guys realize if like Jews were being genocided and shit, I wouldn't be here right now. It was mostly a work camp. And it was the first time Jews had to do physical labor, and so they just complained so much and created. Like, <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was mostly working. Yeah, that's not true. They had like pools. They had like basketball courts. They were chilling. Who? And, and a lot of the the, the, the work camps they had. They had basketball camps in the work in the courts in the in in the uh, Jewish internment camps. Incredible. Pools and they had yards to go. It's literally not feeding them. Like if it was if it was straight up genocide. Why are they all standing then? Why would, that's a lot of that's not true. How do you convince somebody? A lot of that's not true because I said so. That denies every photo, video, and record. You can't. He lives in delusions. Sneeko and Aiden did a stream where they shared each other's religion. Sneeko took Aiden to a mosque and showed him how to pray. They washed before prayer. I make sure you rent. Three times. It's genuinely funny and educational, and Aiden acts completely respectful during the whole thing. Hello, what do you do? What do you, what do you, you do? But when Aiden shows Nico Jewish tradition, he has to constantly remind the audience that he's against this. Dog whistling that the Jews own Hollywood. Rabbi, who are your top three favorite Jews? Oh man, wow, that's, I've never been asked that question. Adam Sandler? Adam Sandler. Look at a lot of Hollywood. Yeah, I was gonna say, beyond Hollywood, who do we have? He's throwing out JQ dog whistles constantly. Yeah, it's really interesting how people don't know about Jewish culture. It's actually surprising how much people don't know about Jewish culture at all. 100%. It's very interesting, right? People don't know anything. If they ever do a blessing or a prayer, Sneeko to stare at the camera disapprovingly. We're gonna say blessing now on this film. Baruch. Baruch. Atah. Atah. Adonai. Adonai. Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Melech. Melech. Haolam. Haolam. Asher. Asher. Kedishanu. Kedishanu. B'mitzvotav. B'mitzvotav. Mitzivanu. Mitzivanu. Laniach. Laniach. The rabbi calls his friend who's a big fan of Aiden. And the friend goes, Sneeko, it's so cool you're doing this. You're an honorary Jew for the night. And Sneeko gets offended. So I got a buddy who's a massive friend of yours. He wants to say, massive fan of yours. He wants to say a quick hello. What's up? What's up, bro? How are you? <laughs> Of course, man. You gotta, you gotta make sure that we, you know, keep, keep this about going. Last about of the year. Yo, we're gonna make Sneeko an honorary Jew just for the night, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. What it. does that mean? <laughs> that means you're one of us now, brother. You are. Is you're one of us now? <laughs> you can be part of the tribe for a couple hours. No, he's in. He's in. He's in. Sneeko thinks they're gonna kidnap and circumcise him. Thanks for having. No, Sneeko knows that he can't be that because his audience hates Jews so much that it's going to be negative for him. I mean, I'm glad to be a guest at this dinner. <laughs> Love you, buddy. All the best. Bye bye. Yeah. What do you What do you leave out for God? You leave out Hala? At the end, off camera, the rabbi tells Sneeko that he's anti-Semitic. The rabbi called me anti-Semitic. No, he didn't. He did actually. But... Well, he is anti-Semitic, so. Well, you are. I'm not. I love Jews. Look at this. I just beat the allegations. Oh god, my heart is beating so fast right now. Why? Yeah, why? We should have rabbi put the hat on me to try to get a clip. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, he knew too. So you're telling me the rabbi was clip farming? Yep. yep. No, he was. Yeah, he was. He's too. No. Yes, he was. And the other one really wanted to put the, the rabbi was clip farming him. What the fuck does that even mean? Tape on me, but I skipped it quickly. Sneeko, you signed up to do a Shabbat stream, and you're offended that the rabbi tried to include you in things. That's literally the entire point. It would be like if Aiden thought the mosque was trying to farm him for having him wash his hands and showing him how to pray. And if you think I'm being bad faith towards Sneeko calling these dog whistles, here's Sneeko on stream calling Jews demons. You're happy as sharing that with an IDS holder that genocide. Palestinians, that makes you happy. Well, my wife, and, and see, every time I bring it up, he loses control of his body. He goes from laughing to literally being possessed by something. I'm telling you. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. His Tourette's is him being possessed by something is wild, dude. Holy fuck. I'm telling you, and uh, this is what I want Brad and Sonny to know too. These are not people that you can be friends with. 
<laughs> you can't be friends with people with threats, guys, because they just go crazy every time you talk to them. Ah, fuck. I have threats, too. They are literally possessed by demons. He has threats. These people know how evil everything that's going on, and they cannot control. This is not the body language of somebody who is a good person. Wow, Sneeko, incredible breakdown. He goes on to demonize Hila for serving the Israeli army. It's mandatory conscription. Everyone has to do it. The IDF soldiers is genociding Palestinians. You feel good about that? Well, it's mandatory conscription, so... It's, it's mandatory. Like, the Nazi that I married, they just were following orders when they shot the gas chambers up. Do you see how much of a fraud you are now? She worked this doesn't make any sense, though, because he thinks that the Nazis were good. So his, his, this, this argument here makes him look stupid. He thinks, Sneeko thinks Nazis are good, so this doesn't really hold any water. This perspective doesn't make any sense. Desk job, dude. It's so bad faith. He would never talk this way about any American veteran. This girl here started saying that American troops deserve PTSD. I don't agree with anything she said. This characterization of them is just so wrong. Since October 7th, Ethan and Hila have been very critical of the Israeli government. And the guests, they have been. Government of Israel is a colossal failure. Bet Net uh, Netanyahu's a war criminal, a fucking psycho. I voted against him every time I could, and young people don't fucking want him in there either. I mean, the whole country of they Israel. They hate him. They hate the government. They literally have been protesting. They've been out on the streets like the whole last year. And yet, Sneeko's still saying the most horrific things about this. Just following orders. Well, yeah, but it's because Jewish hatred is. Um... Like Jewish hatred is acceptable now on both sides, both left and the right. That's why they're. That's why the people are so aggressive against uh, Ethan and Mila. You're applying that logic to your own wife, and you share a bed with that. Every what is time skip? There's probably a time skip. Every night. This is who controls the world, chat. Look at him right here. He's dead serious about it too. He's like. Akila is so evil for participating in mandatory conscription. Meanwhile, he's glorifying the leader of Hamas who was recently killed. Since the return, Sneeko has lauded Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar as inspiring and a martyr, which he is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to triple down times of Israel. Yahya Sinwar was extremely inspiring. He's martyred. What inspired you about him? Though? What was so inspiring about him? <laughs> Inshallah, he goes to the highest rank in heaven. Wow. Yahya Sinwar is an absolute hero. I think he's, he's an example of what we should do. For killing Palestinians, he goes to heaven. That's fucking wild work, brother. About putting... But putting what we believe in first. Also, Sneeko goes on to deny the Holocaust in the same stream. This is how many people died. This is why I deserve more. This is why I'm perpetually a victim. This is why I'm a minority. This is why life is hard because of the Holocaust. And it was 6 million exactly, no more, no less. The worst genocide. <laughs> Nobody's saying it was exactly 6 million people, but that was a pretty rough estimate. Maybe it was 5,999,994. Maybe it was over that. I, we don't really know exactly, but it was it was pretty much it was right it was pretty much right on the mark of six million whatever what was me nazi germinator and its collaborators systematically murdered some six million jews across german occupied europe around two-thirds of europe's jewish population yep yep remember when they did these same exact wikipedia facts for covid <laughs> and they were wrong they weren't wrong sneeko for some reason just thought the vaccine was supposed to cure all diseases for some reason the covid vaccine is safe and effective the covid vaccine is safe and effective and will prevent yeah it was safe and effective it came out pretty short so it probably would have been more effective if it, if it had more uh time to develop but you know what i mean we didn't really have that because covid hit pretty quickly and we needed to do something about it so it was not perfect but it was pretty good man it was pretty decent could have been worse all viruses from you take the vaccine Nobody ever COVID is that. a disease that was developed in Maryland, and Bill Gates got the, the patent in 2000 sneakers new motto is love speech he's spreading love, love speech. But he's so hateful, he doesn't believe that any rapes happened on October 7th. I, I hear this often from But it's true in the Quran that you're not supposed to, you know, I don't believe shit, on, like, shit on hostages like that. I think like they're that. losing a lot of credibility because people keep seeing them lie over and over yeah. again. Like Ben Shapiro posting those dead bodies, like they burned dead bodies, that's not true. They were not. Well, it's obviously true. I mean, like, that's the unfortunate reality of war is that, like, rapes happen. And Hamas raped Pal like Israeli people. I wouldn't doubt it happened both ways. I mean, the Israeli army is held to a general higher standard because they get money from us. And they're not... A as oppressed in Israel. So like, obviously there's going to be more radical um, behavior from Hamas <clears throat> than the IDF, but yeah, it happened. Like you could still be sympathetic to Palestinians when, without, you know, downplaying the actual like rapes that happened. But, Fake okay. photos. Sneeko and Myron are repeating misinformation that has no backing. Journalists have confirmed it. The crappy program that checks if it's AI or not was wrong. But it's not just that they believe in some fake news. They believe that no woman died on October 7th because they were Muslims. And apparently, unlike every other religion, there's no bad Muslims. They said that they were raping and killing a bunch of women. Stuff uh, they were saying that they were doing all this stuff. And here's the thing. In the Quran, like, you're not supposed to, um, you know, treat prisoners poorly. Right. You're not, you're not oh, supposed to. Well, then I'm sure that they treat them real well. <laughs> Prisoners of war. How can you argue with this? He believes that Hamas didn't kill anyone at the music festival on October 7th, even though they wore GoPros and uploaded the footage taking credit for it. Hamas raped, tortured, maimed, and murdered innocent civilians in the most barbaric ways imaginable. Where's the evidence? They saw, and it's, it's there for those to see if you want to see it. 
It's a terrible thing. I've seen it. No, you haven't! Glided into a music festival full of life and beauty. Oh, my God! And massacred young people who came for joy and happiness and peace. They were loving young people, wonderful young people. They just wanted to pop Molly and go to the festival. Really, bro? IDF actually did this. They don't believe it because it's- The IDF did it to themselves? What? Israel's run by Jews, and they think all Jews are liars. And Jews? Well, yeah, no, it's just they're easy, convenient, like, oh, <laughs> there's a reasonable criticism against something well the jews must have done it so it's really not my fault that's all it is they're very funny they're very intelligent and so i have friends who are jewish and they're some of my favorite people they're very extroverted they're hilarious but at the same time they're not super trustworthy okay Whoa, like they, they do that's just true <laughs> and i know it from experience it's like Andrew said, i said i said so they, ha they have a talent for deception and it's the, sa the same reason that they're funny the same reason that they're super smart and good lawyers is the same reason they have a talent to, to spin tales and tell tales so do you think they think that they secretly control the united states and the vague evidence they have is that they're in different industries it owns in all of our politicians it owns our banks it's subverted hollywood it's subverted every aspect of our culture the jews aren't the richest people in the world i'm though. not even saying the jews i'm saying israel <laughs> all out what it is but you are saying jews what are you talking about stop saying it's a boogeyman like elon must say the woke mind virus what the is that i'm just saying it's it goes israel both, it goes america is controlled by one country and it's very obvious who it is and so if you want to go blame who? the boogie man it's a waste of time we know all these conspiracies i mean aiden's a fucking loser for even being friends with this guy it's fucking pathetic there's questions and implications that never have any factual answer behind them 9 11 happens and sneak goes like they recovered a passport after the plane crash how is that possible if you look at the, the passports for example they were recovered in the plane crash it was a burning plane in a pile of rubble and they were they were able to recover their passports this why, why is that so hard to believe? I don't understand his issue. Story, if you investigate it, none of it makes sense. Why would that not make sense? Are you an expert in commercial airline crashes? They recovered all sorts of things. Flight attendant pins the Flight 93 logbook. A lot of recovered items are literally on exhibit. But his mind I don't understand why couldn't items be recovered from that crash? That doesn't make any sense to me. He's made up. He's never going to be- Think of the $5,000 Taco Boy 2002. Hey, look, both Hassan and Sneeko couldn't uh, could find something in common when it comes to Hamas. Yeah, that is true. That's what I'm talking about. Dude. The horseshoe theory is real. Vince, he's brain broken. First it was Gaza, then it was Lebanon, next the rest of the world. They own America, they own Europe. They control information, porn, Hollywood, banking, and your favorite celebrity. Israel is just getting started. Resist. Wow. <laughs> they're just getting I mean, they literally are just getting started because they're a very new... Uh, country, so. The whole world. John Cena came and do a promotional stunt for his movie without the cabal being to blame. Ready for him to get 10 more Hollywood movies after this? Bro, he's already got the movie. He plays a male dancer in it. How is everything, everything a conspiracy? It's really incredible what gets a round of applause from these people. Um, Why? Lot, what, is it, what matters? Things you can say about this, like very obviously is a humiliation ritual. Very obviously he's going to get 15 Hollywood movies after this. A humiliation ritual? Maybe he's just like having a little bit of fun. I don't think it's that deep, buddy, but... Is he blaming him, like, taking his dick out as, like, a humiliation ritual, too? Is that what that is? But I think, like, the, um, the bigger picture is, like, this guy used to be the image of masculinity for a lot of kids. People with Down syndrome love John Cena. Like, white kids. They still love him. <laughs> they still love him a lot. In fact, people with Down syndrome love all of wrestling. They love everything. Which is great. great love people. John Cena. Because he's buff and stuff like that. He does WWE. Great Notice point. how they targeted someone who kids look up to. Exactly. They find um, one of the biggest role models and they get him to do this. And then what is it that he did? I don't understand. He's going to influence so many people to do the same. <laughs> gotcha. They got another one. Sneaky, my boy. He was a WWE wrestler. These guys humiliate themselves all the time for entertainment. They once set up That's a true. bed in the ring and had fake sex in it. And I'm proud to be an American that sells out to Israel. And I get naked on a stage for a couple of Hollywood Jews. I want to link this back to Aiden Ross because Sneaky. What a weird guy. Jesus Christ. Comes off as a good, but sometimes edgy friend. So this is Sneeko's gift to me. It's a, it's a Jew lamp. Um, I want to say thank you, Sneeko, for this gift. It's hilarious until you realize Sneeko actually dislikes Jews. Sneeko's fine. Yeah, that's why Aiden Ross is a cuck loser. And with Aiden, because Aiden's been eating up his propaganda. Aiden now loves Nick Fuentes because of Sneeko. All right, God bless, buddy. Take it easy. Dude, don't say that. John Cena went downhill since he became Fred's dad. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Bless. I love, bro, chat. He's such a W. I don't, I don't care, bro. Bro, Nick literally refers to you as one of the good ones. You're an Uncle Tom to them and you love it. W. Ada Ross, W. Kick, we love you. You're one of the good Jews. Quapers, yeah. I promise I'm not like the other Jews. Quapers, I'm not like the other Jews. It's embarrassing. And now Nick. Weird. I mean, maybe in some world he's actually helpful by doing this. Maybe that's what it really boils down to because then the Groypers are interacting with another Jewish person. And, uh, you know, like, I guess there's a positivity there. I mean...
And Fuentes is verified on kick because of Aiden. Aiden's doing a content house with Sneeko. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I would love, genuinely love to do the house. It's have an addition to have Sneeko pull up and be with us full time. Update, Nick is no longer verified on kick because the rest of the kick staff thinks Aiden is insane. We're watching Aiden fall down the rabbit hole in real time. This is planned by Sneeko. They want to radicalize more people. Sorry, I'm not expecting to start huge. Just kind of test the waters and see how I can do my content on there. No, f it. We're going to take over. Do you mean, oh, yeah, bro, no, I'm just going to come in. No, man, we're going to come in and we're going to smash that shit because there's a bunch of cards over there. So we're going to come in and take the hard market share. We're going to come in. We're going to have our high Q streams. I'll come in there on your desktop streams every now and then. And we're going to talk about real shit. Then they're going to be like, damn, I'm tired of watching Demi sucks being over. I'm tired of watching like Neon. I'm tired of fucking watching, you know, Jack Doherty crash cars. I want to watch some real smart shit. And they're going to tune in, bro. Well, I mean, that's my motto is see truth through funny. So I have to do it in a He's not funny, though. Like, when, does, when is this guy ever funny? I don't understand. Funny, entertaining way. You can still say <laughs> on kick, which is going to be good. Like, all our collabs that we did on Rumble, we can do the same thing on kick. As long as I can say it, we're good to go. And I can talk about those dreidel spinning fucking losers. Yeah, let's do it. Sneeko bragged about this plan last year. How do they start? Are you going to get the random TikToker to start learning about Israel, the dancing Israelis? That's, wh that's where they're going to start. Or are they going to start with feminism and then they go down the rabbit hole? Then they click on my Rumble channel and they see me talking with Ryan Dawson. They see me speaking with you. And what is happening? What? Is my stream crashing again? It's been working. Why can't we get along? Why can't we get along? The breakup. Is that the breakup of Aiden Ross? Is this new information? Why can't we get along? But as it turns out, if you get a bunch of racist and bigots from different backgrounds and religions together, it doesn't take long before they start fighting. The only reason they like each other is because they think Jews run the world. Recently, yeah, it's like, it, guys, if you think about it, we're we're doing a lot of legwork to unite a bunch of different groups of people because the only reason that they're friends is because because they hate us. <laughs> it's beautiful stuff, dude. It's fucking beautiful stuff. There's a fake story about Haitian migrants eating cats that went viral. This has no evidence behind it, but like always, the bigoted conspiracy theorists. Shit, I wish a, a Haitian migrant would eat my cat, if you know what I'm saying. My pussy, because I'm trans now. I don't know. What the, I, I don't understand the joke. Run with it. The whole internet's gang up on Sneeko now for defending people who ate cats, which is a mistake. You shouldn't have done that. There's no excuse to eat a cat. And they did do it. Okay. These Haitian refugees have come into Ohio. Why did they do it? Because Twitter said so, and Myron needs, uh, excuse me, uh, Andrew Tate needs to fucking uh, pander to racists on fucking Twitter. And they're what? eating the wildlife. They're eating the geese. They're eating the ducks. Local cats that are hanging out, they're eating the cats. Now First of all, who cares if they're eating the cats? Those things are fucking making goddamn babies and they're meowing all night anyway. So even if they were eating the cats, who gives a shit? Second of all, it's just not happening, bro. I wouldn't care if it was. I don't give a fuck. Sneeko gets offended because he's part Haitian, so he calls Andrew Tate a Jew. The ultimate insult to these people. <laughs> Andrew Tate was immediately... But the, one of their biggest complaints from Jews is that they're, like, really successful. So, like, what... what? Aren't you just really complimenting him? No? He's talking about ending Sneeko's career. I'm not here to end Sneeko's career. I mean, I could. <laughs> I, I'm that guy. But I'm not here to do that to the guy. The only reason I even replied to him it's because he implied I was Jewish, which he knows is a bit far. Let's cut the bullshit, Sneeko. Let's cut the bullshit. They ate snacks. They ate the cats. We know they did. Everyone knows. Then there's no defense of it. Christian or not, Bible or not, don't eat the cats. Sneeko thinks he's about to be murdered. If you think you can end my career, you're going to have to kill me. I'm never going to go anywhere. I'm never stopping. There's nothing. There's nothing on this earth and nothing that I fear other than God. This country oh was founded goodness. by white supremacists. If they saw you, they, but they weren't. They, this country was not founded by Mexican Italians. It wasn't. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, all of a sudden you have a little some balls, huh? That's I'm crazy. British guys. Not you. These people talk about how women shouldn't vote because they're too emotional. Meanwhile, look at them. Sneeko then corrects the record, saying the eating cat story is fake. I was calling out, and what I'm still calling out is the lie. The video of the cat eating that went viral. The video was a lie. Okay. But how do you know? I mean, like you said, the videos of Hamas raping people was a lie, even though that video exists. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe a certain group of people is just trying to uh, stop that information from coming out or something. You don't know, dude. The video was a lie. When know. the Haitian people are getting, when they're lying about the Haitians, the Christians don't stand up. The Christians don't care. The Christians in America, they'll throw them under the bus because for a lot of people, being white is more important than being Christian. Holy crap. Sneeko is caring about misinformation and is siding with the mainstream media for the first time ever. This is a huge development. But then you remember that he's part Haitian and he's only doing this because he's offended. I went from eating dogs, eating cats. I'm not eating pets. And I want to clear the air. I want to clear the air right here. I'm going to cover all this. No more meow jokes. But we know he doesn't eat cats because he doesn't eat pussy. He's just like fucking Myron. He's gay. I mean, you know. No more cat jokes. They, stop. They think pussy's what do you gross. Mean, hashtag save the cats. It's just, just stop. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Stop. Okay. Deport Sneeko. Okay. Sneeko's finally having the realization that white supremacists are bad. Most people can figure that out on their own, but Sneeko had to experience it. If the founding fathers saw you, they would have enslaved you. They'd be like, where is your owner, bro? 
and all he's talking about is white supremacists, white supremacists. This country is founded by white supremacists. If there's a fake news article that's being spread by the president that we're both supporting, Trump, they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats. If they're lying about that publicly, we should call it out because that's fake news. It was an American woman. Don't demonize a random country that's extremely poor because you just don't like black people. Religion's more important than ethnicity and you, you got it all wrong. No, it's not. It's really not. It really is, yeah, actually. I don't even want to argue. We don't even have time for this. I'm just saying, no, it's not. So, fuck you. I'm the only one who will actually say it. These other streamers are fucking... Uh, religion's more important, but my whole life's about race. Then say it, bro. The f man up and say it. Okay, it's not to yours to play a clip. So he's saying whiteness is the real faith. If whiteness is better than religion, then you- It's so interesting. All these bigoted people are just constantly like, complaining about like other bigoted people. You're all so cringe. You worship your skin color instead of God. This is brutal. I did not think anybody was going to- I mean, I knew that a lot of people thought this. I didn't think they would ever admit this. It's good that he's finally recognizing this at 26 years old. Sneeko's solution to reconcile the relationship is to say that they're all equal under God and that they need to unite to stop women from having- Whoa, he sounds, he sounds like a liberal. Ugh, he sounds like a liberal woman. <laughs> having rights, bro, you were so close. The theme of the stream is let's put God first. Put God first. If you want America to work, if you want to get his real influence out, because I do, put another, put another one if you want to get it out. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of being points right everywhere. I'm tired of usury. I'm tired of being a slave to the system, a financial slave. I'm tired of the fake news lies. Shit. I'm tired of feminism. These women don't make any sense anymore. The fact that there's even a conversation between Trump and Gamble is because women can vote, because of feminism, because of this wokeness. Oh, yeah, I forgot they hate women too. Oh, I didn't world. forget. This is not going to happen in, in places where they put God first and they're not going to even allow women to... They laugh when women say they want to vote. I want to vote. <laughs> Halas, you want to vote? Vote. Here. Vote here! They give her a little crayon. Sneeko, the way you view women as inferior to men is the same way Zerka and Nick Fuentes view you for the color of your skin. Black people, the ones you know, these African Americans, their average IQ is about 85. It's about it's about 85. And so they'll shoot you for no reason. They respond to Sneeko by calling him woke and that he hated white people. In a city built by white people, in a country built by white people. Oh shit. And they shit on white supremacists and white people and defend Haiti. Who is okay? Yeah. Who I mean, all over this cat dog thing, huh? Well, I, I used to love that show. I'll tell you that. Who is shitting on white people? You see, and this is why I wanted to call this out because I, at no point did I say white people or white people wrong. I said white supremacists. If you rewind the stream eight minutes, he was doing that. See these like a lot of them are white in America. These are woke whites. They, they're taking SSRIs, antidepressants. They're taking Xanax and they're getting drunk all the time. They're self-medicating because they can't even handle the existence of right now. They can't wow. even fathom being alive. They're in therapy all the time. I'm going to talk to my therapist. I'm off, I can't handle this. I'm autistic. They them. I'm a they them. Um, I'm a non-binary. No, you're white and bored. This all ended with Sneeko moving to kick. <laughs> this is so funny when all the fucking racists are just crashing out or bigots will say. And this is just like the fucking outcome of it. It's just so funny to me. Sponsored by Aiden Ross. Somebody's room needs to make an announcement and I'm gonna let them make their announcement now. Go ahead. Huh? Oh, well, I am, uh, you can go to kick.com slash Sneeko. I'm gonna join kick. Yeah. Whoa, hooray. Oh my God. Well, you know what? This is a good thing. This is an excellent thing because this is why kick is spiraling downwards because more and more fucking idiot losers are going there and it's just becoming less and less like uh, good. It's just becoming dog shit. People are going to naturally gravitate away from that platform because it's volatile. Like it's going to like end up crashing out and like burning out because of all like the fucking insane morons on there. I tried to confirm the deal, but my source never got back to me. And all of these guys immediately said that Sneeko sold out to the Jews. Nick and Elijah will tell you that you should not ever be president because you're a brown Muslim. Um, but at the end of the day, I do think Nick and Elijah are allies, and I think we're stronger together than we are apart because the enemy wants us apart. That's exactly what they want. We all right, well, Elijah's Elijah. publicly saying on Twitter right now that I sold out to the Jews. I'm going to talk to him. Okay, it's hard to find an ally who says that you, that you sold your soul and all this stuff. Like, what do you think, like, what are we going to talk about? Like, I would, never, would you ever say that about, would you ever publicly, like, publicly tweet? Like, especially right now. After all, I just got banned on three platforms. He said, Sneeko, cook to the Jews for money. Please repent and turn to God. Sneeko wants to appease his new Jewish masters for quick money. He thinks he can rebrand his image by submitting to pedophile big tech Zionist demigods. He no longer cares about free speech. Sneeko's only in it for the bag. It's grotesque, honestly. That's something that, that an ally says? Sneeko was then suspended one day into his- I mean, it is pro partially probably true. I think Sneeko is very money oriented. He just wants to make money. I don't think that he really cares about anything that he that he's talking about, but <clears throat> yeah.
this kick deal, then unbanned, and then permanently rebanned off of Twitch. It's a poetic <laughs> ending for Sneeko to be eaten alive by the very same hateful conspiracy theory he's been spreading for the last year. I'm telling you, bro, like, these people will never be allies, bro. <laughs> An ally doesn't write a hit piece on you when you're at your lowest moment career-wise. They're supremacists, bro. They hate you. I love drugs and sketchy pills, and my favorite ones are the ones that kill. Quickly. I think it's a good thing that Sneeko became Muslim, because his previous religion was just whatever YouTuber he was currently watching. Ultimately, if you don't have a... Well, I mean, it still kind of is. It's this Andrew Tate fucking, you know, cum guzzle, so... Specific faith, if you don't believe in God, then someone else is going to replace that for you. Last year, Andrew Tate was Sneeko's religion, so I was really supportive of this change, but his reasons for converting are so random to me. He's like, Islam is the only way to stop Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift just endorsed Kamala. Yeah, I mean, they have, she has worshippers like this to this level. She has like a, a religion level of followers. Islam prevents this. Islam prevents this saying women cannot rule. Women are going to be led by their emotions. Women are going to sway people and, and regret it four years later. We saw. I mean, uh, Sneeko is one of the most emotional boys I've ever seen. He's not a man, but one of the most emotional boys I've ever seen. What is he talking about? I was with Biden, and we're going to see it again with Kamala. He's more obsessed with the patriarchy than any feminist I've ever seen. He brings on experts to talk about it. And they point the finger at Muslims to say, you're oppressing the women. You're oppressing the women. They're covering themselves. They're covered in, in this. And they don't realize the women choose to wear niqab if they want to. They choose. That's not really true, but okay. I mean, they're born into a culture that tells them they have to do this, or they're fundamentally bad. It's oppressive. All religion is oppressive to people. Unless you westernize it, then it just becomes kind of a thing people believe in. To put on the hijab if they want. Well, the well in the middle, the, what's your because, response? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they do. They're not allowed outside without being having a hijab on. What are you talking about? Choose, I agree, but ultimately it's not about them choosing. Like in a patriarchal society, like I don't care. Like traditionally, the patriarch doesn't care if you choose to wear it or not. Like you have to wear it. That's the whole point of patriarchy. It's not equality. His most recent thing has been advocating for the removal of the age of consent. He starts the stream mid conversation with Charlie. Charlie claims he didn't even know he was live for most of it. He eventually called me on Discord. I was under the impression this was just him and I talking. I had no idea this was going to be a debate. I didn't know it was because it was being streamed. The whole debate is basically Charlie begging Sneeko not to be a pedophile. Why are you so insistent on like the age of consent? It was weird because in this conversation, like Sneeko weirdly somehow ended up like looking almost like optically kind of winning this one, which was so bizarre. Like, uh, you know, I will say this was a while ago. I mean, Charlie was right overall, but some of his defenses were stupid, but being like unreasonable this has happened a while ago now or at least that's the impression i and most people gather from the way you speak about it that's a that's a valid question and i, I want to first ask like what's your what's your issue with my opinion on the age of consent age of marriage because you sound like you want to have intercourse with high schoolers you no know, it's not 18 in most of the united states where we both live right yeah, it should be it should be 18 or more yeah but that refers to like romeo and juliet laws where if you're like 19 and with a 16 year old it's not technically illegal but you're not a 19 year old, right? So why would you be arguing for like a 16, you well, know? First of all, I'm not arguing to lower the age of consent. I don't believe in the age of consent. You what? How young you plan on going, Sneeko? Charlie asked him if he would hook up with a 16 year old in Europe just because it's legal. Across the world, 18. I want to see like, why do you think 18 is the age of consent? Because that, right? I mean, that's the moment that we've decided that people are uh, mature enough to be able to make their own decisions, right? Maybe it should be higher, I don't know. Now is the one that makes the most sense. I, I, I guess to piggyback off what you're saying, so if you tr you're traveling right now, if you go to Europe, are you going to be comfortable like hooking up with a 16 year old? Like just because it's legal there, would that make you feel comfortable? No, I don't hook up anymore. I'm, uh, I'm, well, a... I'm just, I, it's, I'm not saying that you do, but I'm saying if you were, you know. Would you find a 16 year old and marry them over there, Sneeko? Is that what you're saying? Single and looking for someone, would you feel comfortable with it being a 16 year old if it's in Europe versus US? No, there's no, no, Sneeko doesn't believe in age of consent. Sneeko thinks that age of consent should be when they are physically and mature enough to, for their parents to basically promise them off to other people. Like, that's what he thinks. It could be because he wants to fuck kids. It could be because he's so, like, uh, he, he warped into, like, fucking Islam that he is now deciding to be in inhuman, um, you know, because, like, a lot of different religious texts have inhuman aspects to them like justification of slavery and oppression of women and children etc like this is but thank you so much for the five dollars from eduardo pedrero yo papa got deaf noodles came back wearing cat ears acting like nothing happened that's probably the best way that he should act honestly if he wants to have a career honestly <laughs> so i wouldn't do that like I, I would not have sex before i think sex like out of wedlock altogether is something that we should not encourage anymore he's dodging the question so charlie asked the next logical question would you feel comfortable marrying a 16 year old would you feel comfortable marrying a 16 year old like would you meet a 16 year old with romantic intent if you're in europe and maybe marry a 16 year old i would sexual I, I probably wouldn't personally because i don't probably what the fuck that i'd be on the same mental 
playing field. I would. I like yeah, having. That's true. The sixteen year old is definitely more mature than you, so that's valid. <clears throat> conversations. I like to be more. I like to be with women that are around my same age. However, Sneeko thinks other people should. But other people, like if they're able to to get along, then I don't. I don't see why that's so much of a problem. I don't want to, guys, but my friend does. I'm asking for a friend. Wink, wink. Charlie thinks the age of consent should be eighteen years old because that's when you graduate high school, get a job, go to college. Sneeko thinks it should be when a girl gets her period. To go back to that question, is twelve too young? Do you think twelve is too young? I think twelve is too young for me. Yes. Well, it's totally too young for anybody. What the fuck? <laughs> He's such a gross guy. Do you think what a is yucky too young man. In I feel like that should be an easy answer. 12 is too young in general, correct? The way Sneeko says it is just crazy, bro. What you're saying, your definition of adult is not even the, the actual definition. Do you know what the definition of child is? Like anybody watching this can Google it. You can Google it too. The definition of yeah, Google's full of fake stuff, I thought. What happened? I thought that Google wasn't accurate. When does it become accurate? Child is somebody who has not reached puberty yet. That's the definition, but I'm saying that's the actual definition. When somebody reaches maturity, it's based off of biological and physical maturity. Okay, yeah. Charlie is stunned. So, the so just to be clear, Sneeko's talking about physical maturity more than anything else. So when they look attractive, he cares more about physical maturity, not mental maturity. So when they look attractive, okay, that's what it is. Oh, when a girl bleeds, she should be able to get married? According to Sneeko, that's an adult to him. You're, you're insinuating that it sounds creepy and that I sound like a pedophile. What's the definition? I'm not insinuating anything. That sounds like creepy pedophilia. There's sneaks. Pedophile. Sneaks. It's, it is an adult who is attracted to children. A pedophile is somebody attracted. It's like a whole legal definition or, or mental health definition. It's like a 13 and under. But it doesn't really matter because even if you're like 16 and 26, that's still absolutely disgusting. And I would say predatory is the main uh, place that I would go with. Yeah, uh, it comes from the Greek word. Uh, pedo means child and uh, file means love. So somebody who loves a child. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. An adult who is attracted to a child. To a child. Somebody who has not reached physical maturity. Yes. That's the definition then, of a child. Somebody who hasn't right. reached physical maturity. This is what an interesting debate. <laughs> Why have this conversation? You, someone who is 25. Is it okay for someone who is in their 20s to marry a 15 or 16 year old? When you're, and let me explain, when you're doing your arguments, it's coming from an adult. I, I've never heard you say- It was so annoying with this conversation because all he needed to do is, is it okay for a 16 year old or a 25 year old? Is it okay for a 25 year old to marry a 15 year old? That's all he had to ask. But he, it was weird how like an unspecific Charlie was being. It was driving me up a fucking wall, honestly. Hey, like two teenagers should be able to marry. Like I haven't heard that with these takes. I'm talking about- Someone in your position in the 20s, is it okay for you to marry a 15 or 16 year old? But teenager, even even bringing up this term that has nothing to do with child and adult. So there, there's two phases. Well, there does. Uh, child, a teenager is a phase of childhood. But. You're a child and then you physically mature. I don't know why you can't just your body that become, directly. I'm saying the difference between a child and adult is when you're physically and when you're, you're biologically, when you're mentally ready to have kids. Sneeko thinks you go through puberty in an instant. Your balls drop and you're instantly ready to get a loan from the bank and start a family. Sneeko looks at this situation and he's like, yeah, I'm surrounded by a bunch of adults. Fuck the woman, fuck the woman. What? <laughs> That's actually so funny. I guess he would think that, huh? Because those those young boys were like fourteen years old, so I guess uh, I guess so. I guess he was surrounded by a bunch of adults there. That was adults. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait so here's the thing, though. If like fucking thirteen year olds are adults, uh, then why? Then how bad is it that John Cena got naked on stage, right? Like they're like they're you're adults at thirteen, so you should be able to handle that, no? We love women. We love women. We love women. women. But not not like transgenders. Yes, sir. We love everybody. Okay. No, no. Okay, Nico looks ashamed here, but he's actually proud of this stuff. W kids. Fuck the woman. Fuck the woman. reminiscing about the 1800s when you could legally get with a 10 year old. 200 years ago in the 1800s when it was age of 10, that was fine. Legally back then. Yucky. And they were not a pedophile. Today, legally, they are a pedophile. There is no consistency there. But you can't allow the we, the, you we can't allow the grown. government to determine morality because it changes all the time. Tomorrow, if the U.S. government legalized bestiality, if the government legalized incest, based off your logic, there'd be no reason why that's wrong. I, I, it's so interesting because basically what's happening is Sneeko is a baby who needs somebody else to tell him what morality is. And so his whole thing is, is like, if you don't have a religion to tell you what's right and what's wrong, then how are you going to interact? By just like having a, being a person with like actual like, critical thinking skills. I mean, maybe that that's probably the way I would interact with it. Um, hot take, guys. <clears throat> it's like these laws exist for no reason. Like they popped up out of nowhere. You can look up why these laws were put in place. In 1885, popularity to raise the age of consent grew because people were trafficking, prostituting, and selling teenagers. People were purchasing 13 year olds from their parents. Sneeko's arguing for a world of child brides. My belief comes from something that's consistent. It, it really comes, is. It comes from the Islamic way. It, it comes from the Islamic way because nothing else makes sense. I can't imagine being Muslim and letting this guy speak on behalf of my entire religion. I want to be in a society full of happy married people that are ready to have children, that are God fearing. Those happy married people are sometimes in your world 14, 15, 16 years old. Absolutely. By your, by your morality. <laughs> Fucking nasty motherfucker. All of human history, everybody was a pedophile. 
Yeah, maybe. I mean, the different times, it's a different conversation, but we don't live back then, so I don't need to have it. Who gives a shit? In the 1800s in America, the age was 10. In the UK, 200 years ago, the age was 7. Yeah, I, yep, 100%. So, they're, so, they're, so, so everybody... Just, yeah, those people are disgusting. Hopefully, they're happy that they raised that. <laughs> yeah. So everybody in human history was a pedophile up until 10 years ago. Sneeko thinks it was normal to marry 7-year-olds. That's not... I also doubt that it was normal to marry 7-year-olds back then. I'm just going to go out on a, on a limb and <laughs> say that probably wasn't happening. True, the average age of marriage... Not, 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 like, robustly. I'm sure that there were fucking nasty pieces of shit that were getting away with nasty shit like that, but... In the 1800s was 22 for women and 26 for men. I don't know why he's saying that. He then blames the age of consent on the Jews because what else is he gonna do? The reason you believe that is because in California, you know that in Hollywood, that's oh where California, one of the rare places, it's 18. You know that, right? So in movies, they say it's 18. The age of consent is 18, 18. That's Even if it's two dollars from Taco Boy, too. Like I said, he needs a tall goth mom in his life. Yeah, true. Or maybe a child. I don't know. It gets pushed everywhere, right? Hollywood dominates the world. Do you know who controls Hollywood? Oh, uh, uh, here we go. This is what this is so funny because, like, obviously the Jews don't control the world or Hollywood, but in this case, this makes Jewish people look great. Oh, you know why the age of consent is uh, eighteen? Well, because the Jews. I was like, oh, okay, well, W Jews, I guess. In this case, I what the fuck are you talking about? Why you believe that it's most people who controls Hollywood? No, that's not why. It's because people have accepted that. The reason is because of Hollywood. Hollywood movies say that. Holy shit! Do you know who controls Hollywood? Most critical. Oh my god! It is nothing to do with Hollywood, brother. It is. It is. It that, that, that's it the reason Western Americans, liberalized Americans believe that is because of Hollywood. Charlie calls out Sneeko's relationship with Nick Fuentes. Nick Fuentes, you just dropped that name. Are you a big supporter of Nick Fuentes? He's going to be the next president. He's going to be a future president of the, the United States of America. It's inevitable. So for someone that is all about love, yeah. he is, can, do you think he spreads love? 100%. He doesn't, like, he doesn't even agree with your existence. He doesn't like race mixing. Mm -hmm. Not liking race mixing. He doesn't hate me. He does. Like, he actually does. He does. He just can't. He can't be explicit about his hatred of Sneeko because he needs to like useful idiots that'll, um, like go along with his like idiot. No, no, I know he's one. He's a good friend of mine. We're friends. He, he doesn't hate race mixing, or else he I would. Does. He, he is vocal about hating race mixing. That's just not true. He doesn't hate it. You're, you're, it is. It's not true. Brother. He doesn't hate it. He just thinks that sleeping with black people is like sleeping with dogs. Incredible. He said it multiple times. No, he doesn't. He doesn't say he hates race. He doesn't encourage it. Tell me the clip where he says I hate race mixing. Sneeko, he says it all the time, right in front of your face. These are all things which I would They're consider both wrong. They're yeah. Both but, but Sneeko just it, hops on board. Part of why Nick thinks this is because he believes other races have lower IQs. On average, the races have different IQs. And so on average, Asians have- yeah, Which are mostly because of socioeconomic reasons, macro reasons. The highest IQ, and on average, blacks have the lowest IQ. Sneeko's takeaway from all of this is that Nick must love him. <laughs> I listened to this whole call. I don't think he said anything that makes you want to cancel him. I think he's a good guy. He's saying, hey, I love everybody. Is he really being that- Yo. I just I wonder I just wonder where his me his mental is at like where is Nico's brain at with these things like I, you know like where where is his brain at truly where is his where is his mentality at where is his brain at like does he really think that or is he just so like I is it all a grift or is has he rationalized Sne like uh, Nick Fuentes being a good guy or does he it does he fuck Nick Fuentes in the ass because they're both secretly fucking gay like I wonder what it is that's crazy no, that's that's Nico. That's Nico. That's Nico. Nico. I'm not even gonna lie if he had his way and he had first off you wouldn't even exist because you're the basis of an interracial marriage so whatever kind of prescriptive ideas that he's got for the world yeah. you are literally an individual that wouldn't exist in it. it took Nick Fuentes threatening to crusade Sneeko for Sneeko to realize that Nick didn't view him as a high IQ Asian now it's time to declare Deus Vault a new crusade against the Muslim apostate Sneeko He's greatly insulted me. He rallied his 10,000 Saracens, his 10,000 Mohammedans on a Twitter space last night to defame and attack me. This is a serious political show where we name the Jew. We don't eat dinner with rabbis. We name them. Or what do you name him, like Larry David? Or We don't hang out with rabbis. We don't hang out with Jewish fixers. We expose them who also apostatized from the true faith and the true church to go ride on camels and swing swords and yell la 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 and wear a f***ing turban and say Islam, Islam. This guy's, I, he keeps talking about he's serious, but didn't he try to do an event and then he couldn't get them like the, the support for it so he shut down and made some bullshit excuse up? Like, what the hell? Muslim, get the f*** out of here. Now this debate goes off the rails. Charlie says that nine-year-olds should be able to go through trans surgery, but post-debate, Charlie would backtrack this. Is it okay if a nine-year-old goes to a doctor and gets their cock cut off right then and there? And when posed with that question... Yeah, it's obviously a stupid thing to say, but like that's why, where he kind of took the L on, but you know, I, at least he backtracked it. I replied with yes. And I've talked about this on stream many, many times now, and I'll talk about it again here. I thought he was talking in hyperbole. I thought he you was... You gotta be careful with deceptive poopy heads like Sneeko, dude. You gotta be careful with the smart ones like Sneeko, dude.
<laughs> just exaggerating, being over the top, talking about the entire subject of transitioning. I had no idea that any living, breathing human being actually thought that that's how transitioning works. Sneak, on the other hand, didn't backtrack anything. He was very proud of this debate. He's like, join the love speech community if you too want to get rid of the age of consent. Buddy, make sure to follow the stream and join the love speech community if you agree with this. Hey, feds, want to chuck that place out? Zerka, who was dry humped and kissed a 16 year old on camera this year, then calls Sneeko and tells him how good of a job he did. What'd you think? That was the most impressive debate you've ever done. Like, what? <laughs> that's fucking insane. What, what, what? The fucking. <laughs> wow, that's who you're taking your uh that's who that's who's making you feel good about yourself there, Sneeko. Incredible. He's so proud. Dude, if the only people congratulating you are pedos, that is not a good sign. This is why I said there's no logical argument that they have, right? It's all just an emotional argument. Apparently, age of consent law stemming from child trafficking and abuse is not logical to them. Sneeko was shocked to find out that Drama Alert in most of the world did not agree with his take. Drama Alert penned a negative post about you. Great. He's doom scrolling Twitter watching everyone call him a pedo. Drama Alert, why would you pen? The pro moist one, but not the pro Sneeko clip. Clear matrix bias. His own chat started to turn on him. Why would you pin that clip and not the, the pro Sneeko one? Don't talk about the age of consent ever. See, what I said is Islamically true, and it's true for the majority of religions ever. Even that clip is like, people are getting- Yeah, it's disgusting, so. Like, oh, that's true for most religions, true for everything. If it's both healthy, if they're both physically mature and they're ready, that makes sense. It's like my third eye just opened. It makes so much more sense why he says Cuties is his favorite movie. Or defended Dr. Dis- <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's all adding up, huh? Respect. Dr. Disrespect was in Japan, he'd be fine. The age of consent in Japan is 14. Do we have to call, if you if you follow American standards, is everybody in Japan a pedophile for living by the law? Japan raised the age of consent this year because there was so much predation towards young girls. This is not a good defense. It makes these clips of Sneeko and Zerko flirting with 14 year olds come off as even more unhinged. Actually, we would make a great double date. I like you on the left and I think Zerko likes mm. the girl on the right. They're both on the left. What up girls? I want to kiss you guys. How old are you? <laughs> they look like children just looking over. They look like actual kids. What the fuck? Got that white bitch smiling, let's go. Stop, stop, stop. How old are you guys? Underage, well oh. you just, like, yeah, like how, how how underage though? Like, <laughs> like your birthday's next week type shit? Like we can't go to Starbucks, white bitch? And I'll be turning 15 in a month. It even makes me rethink all the time Sneeko's gone on stream and has lied about Andrew Tate's court case. I started the stream by saying free Tate, that they are falsely in prison. It's ridiculous that they've been jailed for this long. They keep trying to find charges. It's not really hardcore evidence of anything. There's quite a bit. There's just so much to go through. It's taking a while. There's tons of hard evidence, leaked text messages and calls of him telling his bottom bitches to beat the girls unless they work. Maybe you're not listening because I'm killing you if we don't make money. Punch yourself in the mouth until I arrive because then I'll give you another 10, you incurable sloth. I'll break you when I get there. Vivian was Andrew Tate's first webcam girl. She was 21 at the time of this recording. Melissa's like 28, Vivian's like 21. So yeah, that's how it started. I met Vivian in, in Slovakia. We had a long-term relationship thing. I was living in England. I moved her to England to be with me to start doing my webcam company, which I started. And you try and bring a new girl in. You actually have to downplay your relationship with the girl of six years, six years, six years. 21 minus six is 15. Oh my God, dude. But, oh, but, 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 but guys, Andrew Tate, he's so cool. He's so cool. Oh my God, dude. The prosecution cross-referenced her birth certificate with the date of the creation of one of the webcam pages he created for her, proving that he was selling CP. I'm fucking all these 15 year old, not 15, sorry, 16 year old women or 18 year old women, whatever the law is in America. 18? It's 18 usually. You get married at 16. All oh, right, in Romania, 16. Sorry. Sneak wow, that's not a red flag to any of these fucking creeps. Incredible. Sneeko went and spoke at Vlad Obu's OnlyFans management conference. Vlad Obu is a professor for Andrew Tate's pimping course in the war room. One month after this conference, Vlad Obu was charged for being part of a criminal organization around human trafficking. He told his students stories about how he kept a woman in line by taking her keyboard and hitting her in the head with it. For her, a bit of violence worked. This is part of Tate's course, so he wow, talked and potentially what a cool guy. took money from Pretty a human funny. trafficking related conference. I didn't talk about this last year because there's a chance that Sneeko doesn't know, but he's constantly and blatantly lying about the court case, saying that there's no evidence that they're only going after him because he's a Muslim. You're gonna tell me that it wasn't strategic that they did this on the first day of Ramadan. Some of the most public figures talking about Islam on a regular basis, they put him in jail from a case from 2012, 2015 on the first day of Ramadan. Why did they have to do that? Bro, these guys obsess over Epstein. Now, you... And this guy likes to use his identity as a fucking uh, shield, huh? Do you get Epstein's island vibes from this guy? Yeah, look at him and I'm like, you ate some babies, bro. But meanwhile- But this guy like loves Epstein, apparently. Apparently Epstein didn't do anything wrong, according to Sneeko. What the fuck is he saying that? <laughs> well, they've created their own predator ring. Zerka's on stream kissing a minor. There's videos of him and Sneeko flirting with minors. They're obviously underage. He's defended the Tate's blind lying about the evidence. He's seemingly taken trafficking money to speak at a trafficking event. And now he's arguing to remove the age of consent. At this point, they might as well buy their own island. And it's lonely. Painful life, this lonely, painful life. Life. So how do we end up here? Well, oh Sneeko's mind is made of Play-Doh. You can mold it into anything. No way. One minute he doesn't like Andrew Tate. I gotta, I gotta see this. I don't know, man. Like these self-help dudes are just a little, are too full of themselves. Like, why are you yelling about your jet on a podcast? Then he becomes a disciple. I'm gonna continue living the life. So Sneeko, young man, if I disappear, I'm passing the torch to you. This is like my hero academia level of cosplay. I'm passing the torch to you. 
Deku. He's spreading the message while it's Meteoria. He starts hearing a little bit about the flat earth theory. How thick is the earth if it's flat? Well, we've only dug it's it. It's probably as thick as Andrew Tate's stick in your ass, bud. Eight miles deep, so not even in the crust. So we don't know if there's a mantle. We just know it wow. volcanoes can appear. Okay, so the earth is around eight miles, like, thick. Whoa, a good movie, eight mile, hashtag. No, no, way deeper. But beneath that, you're saying, is the black sun. Well, no, it would be the mm. sheol oil, right? According not, to Nick Fuentes, I would have a lower IQ, wouldn't it? Not dinosaur oil, but the sheol. They say the Not according to me, baby. Charging the moon and the... It's, a, it's an electromagnetic... Yeah. So check this out. So this is... The underworld, right? Hell gives us a deception by giving us the apple. Half the apple is the sun, male. The other half is female. Next thing you know, he's spreading it. Have you ever held a tennis ball? Yeah, I play tennis. Where's the flat part of the tennis ball? There's none. It's round everywhere, right? Yeah. So it's always curved. Yeah. Ball. Every time you hold the ball. That's what I'm saying. Sneeko at one point was even against lowering the age of consent. Why is pedophilia wrong, Sneeko? Yeah. Because it's not how a relationship, because God says it's wrong. No. That's really, that's the reason why, hold on, wait, oh, so Sneeko, no, 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 wait, this is so easy. So then Sneeko, so if God tells you that you can f kids like he did with uh, Muhammad or whatever, you think that's okay then? There has to be a justification for everything. So then what's the ju <laughs> So I guess the answer is yes. This is justification then for why pedophilia is bad. Because it's not, kids cannot consent. There you go, good, good job. But then he has one conversation about it. We think that. Uh, it's just because we have a different but this guy who obviously does not want to fuck kids idea of what it means to be a child which can be tracked historically but now if the situation has changed a lot, of, a lot of mental gymnastics to go through just to justify wanting to sleep with ch children it's incredible stuff say that the general <clears throat> principle in islam is you, you know you can do what you kind of want so long as i'm not gonna say you can do what you want so long as you harm. you can do you can marry whomever you want to marry so long as it doesn't cause them harm physical and psychological to be intimate with a 14 year old or you know 13 year old who's got huge hips and huge breasts <laughs> That's yucky, brother. What the fuck? And huge body. I mean, quite frankly, we would say uh, it's not it's oh, not going to have the same effect medically. I mean, no one can make the argument. But on in these countries where we live in now, one is legal and one is both are one is illegal. So, for other words, you can't marry a hundred year old woman, but you can marry that that girl that's you know with the, you can't be you're a pedophile if you if you go for the girl that's over hips. And once again, he looks like he's going to bust a nut. Sneeko then becomes an advocate for it. Sneeko needs a handler. I'm convinced if you put a bag on his head, he'd get lost. He'd die in there. Because of the path he chose and being an extremist, his family decided not to invite him to Christmas one year. Like, I didn't, this is the first Christmas I didn't go home because of my association with Ye. Because Ye was talking about, um, they, they called him anti-Semitic, they lied about him. And so my association with the people- He said he loved Hitler. How is that a lie? <laughs> That's wild work, brother. That you want to have on a panel like Nick Fuentes mm -hmm. and Ye that, that pushed me away. They're like, I don't, we don't want you to, to talk about this. They're like, son, relax with the conspiracy theories. And he can't. Wait, so like your mom? My oh, family, shit. just like my whole family. Really, your whole family? Yeah. Oh, all that's... vaccinated, all Biden voters, all Ukraine, you know. Oh, stop it. Can you yeah. red pill some of them? He says his chat is his only family. A good community around me. Wow. My, I've been saying to my- That's incredible. What a beautiful moment, guys. His chat is his only family. A chat, that's why my Rumble should- W parents, by the way. W parents. For, for disavowing him. I've been doing so well, like my chats, my family, like I, that's what I look forward to every single night. It's New Year's Eve and I'm just excited. That's pathetic. I like you guys and I have fun with, and I'd hang out with you guys and shit because it's pretty cool. Um, but you are not my family. I, I have that. And I don't want you to think I'm your family. You know, we have a nice time here, but like, uh, you know, you gotta have a life outside of it or else you become a fucking unhinged goblin demon. To get on stream, see all the same, like usernames that I see, I talk. Sneeko took a DNA test, sounds like he's 10% Jewish. Hey, welcome to the brotherhood, dude. What the fuck? Now we can unban you on Twitch. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> just fucking kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That, that's my, that's the family right now. That That's... That's who I uh, spend the most time with. He talks about how he legitimately doesn't have any real friends. I haven't had a, a real relationship in a long time. I think it's impossible to do with this. And I'm not trying to victimize myself by saying this, but this is just what it is. There's no time to really delve into social relationships outside of streaming. Like even all my friendships and everything are all streaming relationships. His worldview is so scuffed. He thinks he doesn't need to date to get married. I'm not like dating at all. I'm just waiting until I well, no, He's just going to buy a girl, I guess, from some guy. You know, so. Married. Like I, I don't. Two have sex. Yeah. Okay. But you do need to date before you get married? Um, maybe in certain scenarios, yeah. In certain scenarios. Wow. Okay. Incredible. Huh. It's because oh, he's going to buy a child bride. He doesn't even have his conspiracy theorist friends anymore because they turned the conspiracy against him. Tried with countless other white Christians. Damn. Countless other white Christians to do this, and they end up saying things publicly. They end up, you know, finding division. They end up, like, everything that you've seen. They, they always end up turning because at the end of the day, we're not the same. He just said, I sold out to the Jews. It's grotesque and I'm only in it for the bag. He sold his family, no. his friends, his soul, all for internet fame. And now he's being consumed by the very conspiracy he spread all over. So who's to blame for Sneeko's radicalization? Well, if you ask Sneeko, he'd say Hassan. I was basically playing the character of an incel to try to view women accurately in 2022. And this idiot, La Lasagna, watched this video. I was like, oh, guys, guys, literally do like an incel dude with 45,000 people watching. He didn't even understand it because of his low IQ bot brain. Doesn't know how to comprehend it, even though he's 30 years old, sitting in his room all day watching videos. He didn't get it. And he probably made more money 
in 10 minutes reacted to my video that I spent a month making. I'm like, That's all he does is react now, though, so I don't really understand how you can complain about that. I don't get that. Why am I spending all this time investing into trying to change people's mind, trying to make difference on the internet? So just to be clear, I don't think that Sneeko is ever really intelligent or ever trying to change people's minds. I know some people will disagree with me. And that's fine. Hey, this guy's always cosplaying about like, uh, as somebody else. I really just think that. I think that every moment of his like everything was him cosplaying as some other person that he liked a lot. Um, and that's it. I think that's really the basis of every, all of his shit. <clears throat> so internet where people are so easily brainwashed i don't know who it was back then but i pretty I, I would guarantee that that's true when i could just react to shit when i could just because there's no way that this behavior just started as he got older now this had to be a continuous behavior always looking at somebody that he liked and just copying them yell because this guy's not funny this guy's not entertaining he's low energy he's stupid and predictable he says everything that twitter pe twitter people say i you just say the uh, you sort of well you say the exact same thing twitter people you are the twitter people now but i can be better than this so you're gonna say you're better than them but you became them how did i become them you literally said i could you literally just said that you did what he did he sounds like every single 12 year old 14 year old girl on twitter with a Nicki minaj or k-pop profile picture the way he's talking it's the right leaning version of what hassan does he sounds like the hit and replies on twitter trending who can you who can you say that i sound like so you're like andrew tate that's fine. <laughs> because of current political events, True. extremism is everywhere. You have the extreme right, the extreme left, and the extremely hard cock. And the extremely stupid. There's a lot more. <laughs> True. Or I have to say about this situation, but first we got to detour and talk about his son. So subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Pax, for helping me with this video. And buy a fume. Shout out to the homies over on Patreon: Phoebe's Crimson yes, Glass, Ripper, Christina Bean, Mac Monkey, Drink Kobex, Necro Valley, Stefan Bildman, Eddie Blackbird, The Confusing Opinion, Eddie Bizzle, Tiz Fitz, Christopher H, TV Anthology Reviews, Kanko Moore, Senio Music, Lucas If, Et Automatic, Snoopy Poop Doop Doop, Dogarino, Cripperino, mm -hmm. Amir MLB, Deep Pocket Shoe, Uh Oh, Don't Scare Sneeko, Rooney Boo, Drew is sharing, and the Mega Homies: Reynold Hughes, Hellison, IGP, Your Taxi, Lachy Gothboy, Cyber Katie, Lori Loaded, Papa Gut, Papa Gut.